Supporters of Kenyan President Yuri Kenyatta are celebrating his victory in an election in which he faced no significant challenger because of an opposition boycott. A group of Kenyatta backers sang and danced on Monday near the Election Commission headquarters where the results from the October 26 vote were announced. Kenyatta supporter Njoki says, We wait for Kenya to move forward. Kenya's Election Commission says President Yuri Kenyatta has won last week's rerun election, which was boycotted by the main opposition group. Wafola Chebukati, the Election Commission chief, said Monday that Kenyatta got 7.5 million votes, or 98% of the votes that were cast. The announcement that Kenyatta was the winner by a huge margin was expected because he faced no significant challenge after opposition leader Rayla Odinga refused to participate saying the election was a sham. Kenyatta was also declared the winner of a presidential vote in August, but that election was later nullified by the Supreme Court. Kenya's Election Commission chief says he is confident that the country has conducted a free, fair and credible election. Speaking ahead of the announcement of results, Commission head Wafula Chebukati said Monday that a fresh team of election staff had worked on the October 26 presidential election which was a rerun of a vote in August that was nullified by the Supreme Court. Chebukati had said before last week's vote that he could not guarantee its credibility. The commission chief expressed his sorrow at the loss of life and property that has occurred during the troubled election process. President Yuri Kenyatta ran without a significant challenger last week after opposition leader Rayla Odinga boycotted the vote. Kenyan police have used tear gas to disperse opposition supporters who threw stones after a government official visited a school in a Nairobi slum. The clash occurred in the capital's Kawangware area, which has been the scene of unrest linked to last week's presidential election. Some students in uniform were seen running in an effort to escape the violence. A policeman carried one student to safety. Kenya's Election Commission says it will announce results of last week's presidential vote on Monday afternoon, seeking to end a fraud electoral process in which President Yuri Kenyatta ran without a significant challenge because the main opposition leader boycotted the vote. A senior election official, Consul Laden Katha, said the decision to announce results at 3.30 p.m., 1,230 GMT would go ahead even though voting did not occur in two dozen constituencies because of opposition protests. The election Thursday was a rerun of an August vote that was later nullified by the Supreme Court because of what it called irregularities and illegalities. Opposition leader Rayla Odinga boycotted the October 26 vote because he said more electoral reforms were needed. The United States says it is deeply concerned by violence that has occurred in Kenya since a presidential election last week. Robert F. Godek, the American ambassador in Kenya, said Monday that politicians and other leaders should condemn the violence. He also said Kenyan security forces should act with restraint and that protesters should exercise their right to demonstrate in a peaceful way. Godek said Kenyans should engage in dialogue to resolve the deep divisions that the electoral process has exacerbated. Opposition leader Rayla Odinga boycotted the election Thursday, and some of his supporters have fought police. Authorities say they have had to use force to quell riots, looting and attacks on security forces and election workers. Amnesty International says Kenyan police have used unlawful force against opposition supporters and bystanders after last week's election. The human rights group on Monday cited cases of police brutality as well as violence and intimidation by backers of both opposition leader Rayla Odinga and President Yuri Kenyatta. The group refers to violence in the Kenyan capital of Nairobi as well as Kisumu, the country's third largest city and an opposition stronghold. Kenyan government officials say opposition leaders have incited violence with incendiary rhetoric and that police have been attacked by mobs. At least nine people have died in violence since the election Thursday. Some were shot by police, several died in fighting between different ethnic groups. Amid legal uncertainty, Kenyans are awaiting final results of a presidential election in which President Yuri Kenyatta ran without a significant challenge because the main opposition leader boycotted the vote. A key question Monday was how the country's election commission would resolve the fact that 25 constituencies in opposition areas did not vote in last week's election. 
opposition supporters in those areas stopped polling stations from opening and clashed with police. The Kenyan constitution says an election shall be held in each constituency if two or more presidential candidates are nominated. There were a total of eight candidates on the ballot, including opposition leader Rayla Odinga, even though he did not participate. The election Thursday was a rerun of an August vote that was later nullified by the Supreme Court.